Welcome to Game of Drake. We're playing Void Train. It's an early access game, so uh, we can expect some bugs along the way. But that's all part of the fun. Uh, the very first part of this game I've already played through just to get a feel for it. And I'll keep quiet during the, uh, the I guess it's an introductory scene where we get to learn about the uh, movement of the character and so on. And uh, we'll get through that and I'll talk to you then. As you can see, the humour is uh, <laughs> quite good. Uh, so we've been chased by what I believe are some Nazi Germans during the, the war era. And now we're in this void on this handcart. And momentarily we'll get control of ourselves. And our job is to make it through uh, this void, I guess. And increase the capacity of our cart on the way hopefully turning it into some sort of suitable and uh, sophisticated train right now all we have is a horn quite important <laughs> so this is where our journey begins let's take the brake off and so the journey into the in-between begins. Our heroes are about to start their adventure. Wait, wait, wait! Forward, not backwards! Oh, goodness, just use this transmission thingy. Yes, good, good. Okay, now our heroes are definitely about to begin their adventure through the many dangers that lie ahead. Oh, so much excitement awaits. Okay, no, this is not good. At this rate, we'll never finish this story. I don't want to be that guy, but maybe we should hurry a little bit. Yes, I expected no less from you. Full ahead. Allons-y. Okay, so now we're left on our own. Let's put the brake back on and stop, because... What we've just gone past is a load of resources that we need to gather. And so I'm going to go back right away and uh, start getting those. We can jump off our platform. It seems to be safe to do so. We're on a tether, so we're not going to go flying off into the void just yet. And we have around us all these glowing objects, which are the resources we need to gather to get anywhere in the game. And as you can see there, the track has now been blocked, so we can't go any further back. There's no going back to the start. What we do have on the top right hand side there, an indicator of what we need to do, collect 
four wood and four metal. I've managed to get two of each so far, but there are other elements that we can pick up. And right now, I think I'm just going to pick up everything I can because resources are going to be the thing that allows us to progress and hopefully uh, get through this game in one piece. Now there seems to be a number of different ways of collecting these resources, but the best way I've found is to be out in front of your train, your cart, and grab the resources looking behind you all the time because the resources tend to be hidden behind rocks and whatnot and the train goes at a speed that doesn't really allow you to get those so when you see uh, elements that are behind rocks stop your train and fly around now unfortunately a lot of this game is just that at the beginning it's resource gathering and that's not the most entertaining thing to watch so I'll just carry on along the track a little bit picking up some resources and we'll come back when I've got a few. So, there we are. We have enough to build our first thing and the instructions. Press T to open the build book. Select the desired object to build it. If you have no resources, it will build a project that you can finish after gathering the necessary materials. Most objects require a floor or a wall if it's a wall object to build. Okay, let's push it. T. And we can build a floor and a research table, which I guess is what we need to start with. Okay, let's place it there. Seems a good place, front of the train, keep an eye on where we're going. Interact and blueprints. So we're on our way. We've got a smelter and a container, neither of which we can build. We need another three scrap metal, according to the bottom right, in order to get that research table unlocked. Sorry, the smelter unlocked. So, more resource gathering. Let's go. Seems to be a number of different strategies for collecting the resources. But I think at the beginning here it's essential we don't lose too many. And so uh, I'm stopping our handcart every so often to capture what's around. Uh, I think the scarce, yes, this resources are so scarce at the moment that uh, that is probably the best way forward does mean the progress is going to be a little slow to begin with, but slow progress sometimes means uh, we end up with some solid foundations to, to build on.
I've got enough to do this research. Let's see what we can do. Research the spell file. Okay. I'm guessing we can't build the smelter yet. Oh, another four scrap metal. Continue resource gathering. Okay, let's build our smelter. Seems like a good a place as any. Try and get it as back as far as we can. Perfect. What does this do for us? Iron bars, copper bars. Okay. So that takes chemicals. I think that was chemicals. Yeah, chemical and scrap metal. So scrap metal makes both the uh, the iron and the copper. The copper just requires the addition of chemicals. Okay, perfect. So to research the next item, which was the container, we need two iron bars and some wood. Okay, guess what? More salvaging. Facing backwards seems to be a thing. Uh, you pick up a lot more resources when you're looking backwards. Uh, <laughs> the devs have seemed to have hidden a lot of things behind the, the floating debris around, and so looking backwards allows you to pick that up. However, I now have enough uh, scrap metal to make two iron bars. Let's do it. Bit 
more fuel. Finish that one off. Two iron bars. Which means we can now research our chest container. And we've unlocked the next phase. Workbench 1, basic components, and copper components. Okay. I think we need to build a chest first. The inventory is all right at the moment. Uh, we can stack things in, in blocks of five. Uh, we have got a hunger bar and a thirst bar down there. And we can drink the dirty ice and the pure ice to uh, help us regain some of that. So right clicking and using may as well. Doesn't appear to be any other use for them just yet. Let's get our food and thirst sorted. It would be a shame to uh, cause ourselves problems with that afterwards. So we need to make a chest and a chest. Uh, no, not a hammer. We need our uh, crafting book. Chest requires two blocks of iron and some wood. So that's another four scrap metal. A hunting we go again. Okay, we have four more scrap iron. We can create our two iron bars. And hopefully that allow us to create our first container. Need more fuel. I think we could put fuel in there, it didn't seem to waste. When the smelting's finished, I'm just checking there. When the smelting's finished, it does. Yeah, it's not using up the, the whole stick. Fantastic. Chest, here we come. A container, here we come. Let's rotate it. Bingo. And we can put our chemical in there. We have no use for that at the moment. Although I suspect in the next episode we're going to be very much uh, making copper. There's another scrap metal there. I shall go and grab that in a minute. Okay, there's the first episode. Let's see how this goes. We'll continue the journey tomorrow. Bye friends. <laughs>